You won't believe how easy it is to generate a Trello card using a job form submission, all with the click of a button. In this case, I'm going to show you how to add a button on job form tables. So let's get started with this integration right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George, and I'm going to show you how to add a button on job form tables to send out data to create a Trello card. This is going to be super easy. So don't stress out. So let's get started. This is my job form dashboard and we're going to get started with a new job form. So this way we can know how to do this from scratch. So we're going to use a template for this and we're going to select this one for testing purposes. Now it's advisable that you add the elements that you need for your Trello card. For example, this is my Trello workspace. And if I need to add a card, there's different type of things that I can edit. For example, there's the title, description, labels, members, etc. So it's advisable that we have these elements in the form or if we add that row on our job form tables, which I'll show you in a bit. So this is the form that we're going to use. And in this case, let me go ahead and fill this out with demo data for testing purposes. So it's going to fill that out really quickly. I'm going to submit it. There we go. We got our first table row here and we're going to go ahead and go into tables. So let's go to job form tables. And this is going to be where we're going to have a list of all the submissions that we have for this particular form. Now, the beauty about this is that we have the option to add a button right here to send this out to create a Trello card. So you don't have to create a Trello card for each single submission. In this case, we can do it manually depending if we need to or we don't need to. So you have that option. So let's go ahead and click on the add column right here. And we're going to go ahead and click on buttons. We're going to send data to other apps. We're going to go ahead and select this. Let's go to next. We're going to name this. So we're going to say send data. Go next, and we're going to select the app where we want to send this information to. In this case, Trello. We want to create a card. Let's authenticate with Trello. Now, since I'm already logged into Trello, it's not going to ask me to log in. But if you're not, it will ask you first to log in. Okay. Once you read the terms and what you have going to give me permission, go ahead and allow it. And in allow, we're going to go ahead and create a card. We're going to select the board. In this case, I'm going to use my job form test board. The list in this case, where do I want to add this card so it can be in any of these columns right here. But in this case, I want to add it in the pending one. It could be to do or wherever you want to add this. In this case, I'm going to add it to pending. Now we're going to match our elements with our Trello card. For example, name is going to be matched to name and I can do so with the other fields. Now be aware, like I mentioned before, there's other fields, for example, description, the due date, members, etc that we can tie these with the, the elements. In this case, I'm going to use name and description. And for the description, I am going to use the address. OK, so I'm going to keep it simple. But if you have the dedicated element in your form, go ahead and match that element with the Trello card. OK, so let's go ahead and complete integration. Let's create the column. And here we go. We have a new button right here. Now, right now, you're going to be able to view on my pending board right here, column. There's not a card named in this case. The name that's going to be used on the Trello card is this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and replace it for now just for testing purposes. There we go. OK, and I'm going to click the button and it should create the card right here. OK, so let's go ahead and click send data. There we go. Let's go back over here and here we go. We have the card just as easy as that. So here we have the name for that card and in the description. In this case, I selected the address for the description. But you can go ahead and add whatever you want in the description based on the elements or if you create a new column right here. So it's super easy to do this right now. Now, each single submission that's going to be added right here is going to add the button in the send data column. Now, I can go ahead and resend the data in case there's an update on this particular submission. Now, I'm going to add a new submission. So we run the test again. So let's go back into our form for this one. Let's go ahead and view the form. Let me go ahead and fill this out really quickly. All right, so I just filled this form out really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and submit it. There we go. Let's go into our tables for job form. Here we go. Here it is. You can see this the one that I added right now. John Doe with the street name and just everything is for demo data. And we have the button available right here. So let's go ahead and send this out and going to create our card right here in the pending section. So let's go ahead and send it out. And here it is. John Doe with the hypothetical um, address that I've added there. So it's super easy to do this. Now that is for creating a card. We can also update a card if we like to. So in this case, let me go ahead and use a new table for this. 
here we go we have a new table right here and in this case we are going to update a card not create one right so again we're going to add a new button go to buttons send data to other apps next and we're going to say in this case trello update here we go we're going to select trello we're going to authenticate again if you're not logged in go ahead and log in first and let's go ahead and allow this and in this case we are going to update a card okay here we go let's select the board that we're going to use job form test in this list we're gonna use the pending one and i'm gonna choose the card that i want to update in this case it's gonna be this one right here let's go ahead and specify the name full name and for the description let's select uh phone number just for testing purposes okay let's complete the integration so create the column and here we go trello card update send data all right so the one we're going to update is this one all right so let's go ahead and send this data here we go let's check it out and now it's not my name george aguilar it removed the name and the phone number now it's the phone number from my demo test data that i ran for this particular form see here full name and the phone number so it replaced it with that data so you have two options with Trello. You can create a card or update a card depending on your needs. Now that is for the Trello card creation with job form tables buttons. I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you would like to see in the future for these integrations. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.